<laughs> so true. Uh, tell us what was going on there, because you looked out of it from a lot of that race. Uh, I knew that going into the final, a lot of guys, they get a little bit excited and they like to go out fast. And I just wanted to make sure that I went out as controlled as I could and make sure that I had a really strong back half, which is my strength, coming from Gator Swim Club with Greg Troy and a lot of great training partners there. And now at Stanford with Jeff Kostoff, I had a lot of confidence in the training that I put in to make sure that I was going to be able to close out the race really strong. And I'm so happy with how it panned out. I can't so believe it. What were you seeing as you as you went between Robert and PJ there at the end, and you're just going right by him? And how late? How, how is the adrenaline flowing at that point? I've had a couple miles where I close really hard at the end and then I come up a little short. So I wanted to make sure that I was making my move completely and not looking back because I wanted to make sure I went by him and I kept on going. And it was unreal. Like my whole body was ringing, my ears were ringing. It was, it was the best race of my life and I cannot be happier. So you, you, you're known to be a little bit of a workhorse. So <laughs> when you saw those two guys, you know, a couple of body links ahead, you know, was it all right, I gotta switch the gear, or were you calm, cool, and collected? <laughs> uh, you, a lot of thoughts go through your head when you're swimming a mile, and I, I'd have to admit, around the halfway point, I was thinking, uh, about four guys are ahead of me, maybe I can sneak in for wugs or something, but <laughs> I visualized my races a lot, and I knew what I wanted to accomplish tonight, and I, I was determined to give my best effort, and I knew that I was gonna be able to closed well and I'm so happy with how it panned out. I guess for me the biggest part is the training that I've put in. I like to think that there's a great quote from Grant Hackett actually that he wanted to make sure that when he went behind the blocks for a race he knew that he had put in more work than anyone else in that heat and I was confident that I obviously I don't know what exactly what other people do but that I had put in as much work as I could going into that race and that I was very just rock out. I know that breaking 15 was something you really wanted to do, so how did it feel to actually do it in, in, in that fashion? <laughs> Trying to get under 15, I've been thinking about that probably since I was about 16 years old, so it's been a little while. I've been creeping closer and closer. I think it's probably one of the um, hardest barriers in the sport to break, and uh, my coach Jeff Kostoff, he's a Stanford swimming, distance swimming legend, he said to me afterwards, my biggest goal in the sport was to be able to sneak under 15 minutes and you did it right there. And like, We have such a tradition of distance swimming with Chad LaTourette, mm -hmm. Danny Thompson, and other Stanford greats before me. To, so to be able to hopefully just work my way up to be included in those ranks and then to be included in the United States ranks as well is it's unreal. I cannot describe it. So you've got a taste of Team USA at Short Course Worlds. Now, and then it wasn't the greatest college season, at least in the spring, and then now you're here, you're back, you're on the team, so how does that feel from that standpoint? I was not very satisfied with my NCAA performance at all, but I made up my mind after that meet that I wanted to have the best turnaround between NCAAs and nationals here of anyone. Like I wanted to go from pretty low point, one of my worst meets, to have one of my best ones and really kick things off well tonight. I can't thank my teammates enough, and even the ones at Gator Swim Club, like guys I trained with since I was 15, like Ben Lawless, Blake Mangiello, there's now at Stanford, Liam Egan, and James Murphy, like those guys, some of them weren't here tonight, but being with them every day is just as rewarding as swimming tonight. It's an incredible experience at Stanford, and I, I can't believe I'm going to Budapest. I can't believe I'm under 50 minutes, and I certainly cannot believe that I'm national champion. I, I have to thank Jordan Willimovsky for uh, not showing up. <laughs> really appreciate that. <laughs> Very grateful for that. Let me, let me. He, he showed up at 2015 in San Antonio. He was yep. at Worlds, and so I was like, ooh. Open no water, right? Yeah. yeah, he was at Open Water Worlds, and I was in San Antonio, and I was like, oh, no one's going to be here. <laughs> and then he flew all the way back just to come and win the mile. And so thankfully, he, he let me have this one. But hopefully, moving forward, uh, we can continue to progress. I know I'm on a upward trajectory and I'm looking forward to the future so much. Congrats, man. Thank you so much. Thanks.